everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video I'm going to be diving into the new Made by Mitchell eyeshadow palettes. So these are the iCloud eyeshadow palettes. So we've got a grey version which is called Grey Girlfriend. Then we have a blue which is Blue Your Mind. Then pink is called Little Pinky and I think I'm going to be diving into this one today which is Keep Em Green. So if you want to see reviews for the other palettes they will be coming soon. Be sure to subscribe, like this video if you want to see the other colourways but like I say I'm going to be diving into the green one today. So this is Keep Em Green and if I open her up... <laughs> then we can dive into the eyeshadow palettes. How beautiful is that packaging? Now I will say obviously, it's slightly awkward packaging, it is, but obviously it's very, very on brand with the M logo. Then inside you've got the little cover, which also matches. And this is what the palette looks like. It has a decent sized mirror up in the top here but that is what the colours look like so we've got three mattes and then a shimmer and I do feel like the variety of colours in the mattes you could make some really different looks like you can do one that's more like bluey, lime, a regular green and let's just see what we come up with today. I will start by swatching so this is what the colours look like just on my fingers. They're really um, smooth, really, really pigmented. And I don't, I haven't put any moisturiser on, but let's hope for the best. So these first three are mattes. And then the last is a shimmer. Let's see. Oh, they're really smooth. Really, really smooth. That shimmer isn't quite giving what I thought it would but I will say I am it's like I can't move my pinky finger how I want to so I will try and just go over that shimmer with a different figure. Okay so the mattes I did just put a second layer over the mattes so that we could really see the colour. You might be able to see there the reflection from the shimmer. It's nice it's really nice and reflective I don't know what I was expecting. It's pretty. I don't know why I'm complaining. It's really pretty. <laughs> it's nice enough. It's really, really nice and smooth. Like it almost feels a little bit creamy and I'm not getting a ton of like fallout from the palettes, from the, um, from the pans. So I'm just going to create some sort of green eye look. I don't really know what I want to do. I definitely want to use this shade because it's almost like a tealy undertone which I love. Oh so each shade has a name so we've got Chemtrail, Venom, Ain't and Grass. I like them. I like them. They're, they're nice shades. I feel like the yellowy is sort of out of place, like that's very bright, but I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> so I've just zoomed in a little bit so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I do already have the Beauty Bay Eye Primer right across my lid and blended right out and the brows that I used today were the e.l.f. Waterproof Brow Pencil and the Sleek Brow Gel. What was that called? the Brow Getter Fibre Brow Gel. And that's all I have on. So taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into that bright neon <laughs> yellowy green and let's buff this through the crease without the creases in that primer. So I am just going to sort of buff that upwards because I think what I want to do is put that darkest tealy shade on the inner corner and the outer corner, blend it out a bit with the mid green and then put the shimmer down the centre so it's almost like a halo sort of an eye but I just want 
to really, really intensify this bright, almost like yellowy lime. I do feel like on the eyes, that's almost translating as just like, sort of like a sunshine yellow. It's, it's a nice enough shade. Honestly, this is the sort of shade that I would just pack across the lid and do like a big black wing and call it a day. Like this is absolutely a one and done sort of a shade for me. It's, it's working perfectly fine. I'm going to take a much smaller brush, quite a sort of precise fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip straight into that deepest shade. And let's just pack this right onto the inner corner. That is a beautiful colour. I absolutely, I mean, if you haven't seen my channel before, hello, my name is Millie and I love a teal. So, I'm, I am excited about this shade. And I'll also pack this on the outer corner. Obviously, I'm doing my eyes first because I want to like really be able to blend this out and then wipe it away. <laughs> I want to wipe it, you know, with a cotton pad and be done with it. But let's see how well this will build up. So I'm just going back in with that same brush that I used to apply the yellow and I haven't put any more colour on this but I'm just hoping that a little bit of a wiggle over with this and that will blend because that colour has built up so much on like the very outer and inner corner. I don't want to mess around with it too much. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade though and I do feel like where it's blending out it's creating a really, really beautiful like undertone it's blending really nicely. So you can properly see where I've only used that yellow and that darkest teal, but you're definitely where like the two are joining. They're like blending together and creating that green. I love that teal though. <laughs> I mean, if you have a teal in an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to love it anyway, but that is a beautiful, beautiful undertone. So again, I've just blended, so I'm just going to Pack a little bit more of that teal right on the inner and the outer corner and then I'll go in with the other matte green. So again I'm just going in with another fluffy brush into that matte green on the bottom and I'm just going to tap a little bit of that over. I don't feel like I need it to blend because I feel like even the lightest to the darkest, they've blended really, really nicely. But we're here, so I'm going to test out the all of the shades, because we've only got four. And then one last blend over everything with a little bit more of that yellow. Just to like brighten up right up at the top here. And then that shimmer down the centre where that's still bare. I feel like <laughs> I completely forgot that it's, as you're seeing this, I think it's St. Patrick's Day in a couple of days. I could say that I did that on purpose, couldn't I? I did that on purpose. Am I convincing anybody? Absolutely not. So I'm just going to take the green shimmer on my finger. I do prefer just using my finger when I'm working with a shimmer and I'll just tap that down the centre where that eye base is still a little bit tacky. Yeah, I really, really like that green on the eyes. I wasn't 100% sold from the swatch. That's almost got like a gold reflect to it. That is really, really nice. Again, that is another shade that I would just put all over the lid and again add a big black wing <laughs> and call it a day so going back in with that first brush I'm just going to tap over the edges but again I feel like these eyeshadows are just doing all of the work themselves I'm barely having to do anything I really like how that's turned out 
the depth on the outer and the inner corners but it's blended up into that yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up under the eyes I don't feel like there is any fallout but more so I'm wanting to clean up that outer corner and then of course I will go ahead add a wing add a lash add the, re the rest of my the rest of my face of makeup because I have not a single scrap on at the minute but I do feel like you get the vibe when it's cleaned up <laughs> it doesn't look quite so messy so that is how we are looking all cleaned up I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do a wing I'm gonna do a lash I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we will be back I might do something under the eyes or I might just leave it as like very lid heavy I'll be back in a minute once I've done the rest of my face okay so that is the rest of the face done and I am just blending that darkest green like right down onto the inner corner and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the highlight that I've put on my face just put in a little bit of that right onto the inner corner a little something like that because you know me I need a wing and I need a bright inner corner and then I think I just want a little something smoky under the eyes just to finish it off under there I really really like the way that this looks with like the sharpness of the outer corner so I just want to take a little bit of that mid green just right up against the lash line just so that there's a little something down there but I don't want it to be too like blown out I'm not bothered about it looking like it joins up with the upper eyelid and then just a little bit of mascara I used the Lottie London super fake mascara I'll just put a little bit of that on the lower lashes and then we are done the first of four made by Mitchell palettes that I'm going to be testing over the next couple of weeks I also realized I definitely didn't do any lip liner so I'll just go in with a bit of lip liner as well my cat has just joined me so if you hear that that's happening over in the corner but that is the finished look I'm actually thrilled with how that turned out considering when I first watched those I was like I feel a little bit off about the um about the color story I really actually quite like how that's turned out you know what else <laughs> let me zoom you out I also feel like it's throwing me off not having my big curly hair I feel like I'm looking in the viewfinder and I'm like you don't look like yourself because my hair's just rather than maybe <laughs> maybe that's what it is I need my big curly hair back sorry I'm just adjusting my blanket that I've got across my knee um but I am actually thrilled with how that's turned out I definitely feel like I'm wanting to embrace more colour I'm wanting to try and push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit I always used to do such colourful looks and then I just went into the browns and the beiges and I haven't really left so this is definitely out of my comfort zone but I really like how it's turned out let me know what you think down below have you picked up any of these made by Mitchell palettes I would love to know what you think as well and also let me know which palette you would like to see me try out next so we've got the pink the blue and the gray I will be doing all of them but let me know which one you want to see next and I will get that up for you ASAP as possible but I would love to know what your thoughts are down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye hey!